back side of the thread. So that way as you adjust the adjuster band up or down, it'll always align with that slot. So even if there's a misalignment, it'll feed a bit, or it doesn't do that with stock bodies. So it just gives us a wider window without our shut off the shoe. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll uh, definitely make sure. I, mean, I don't know if you've conveyed that. No, you've been I, talking away, right? Yeah, I sent him. Some, we've been talking back and forth, but when you said something about the Harlan Sharps, that just popped in my head about the ratio. Because uh, I know Greg's boat brand some of those. Greg's. Oh, shoot. Pretty good, brother. No springs in here, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't design any new beehives yet. Okay. So what exactly is this for uh, a, Dura a Chevy GM? Yeah, yes. Duramax. Okay. All the Duramax is Chevy, all Chevy diesel. To one all the way till present. And it's basically a roller rocker then to uh, open these intake valves. Roller rocker arm conversion. It uh, is a geometry correction from the shoe style rocker arm to a roller. Uh, we've slowed the seating velocity so that way you can rev the motor up without beating the seats out of the head. And done some oil correction so that way as the rocker arm leaves base circle it doesn't shut the oil pressure off like it does with the factory system. Okay. So it, full steel, core yeah. hardened, uh, 250 wall heat treated shaft with a chrome and ground surface. Tool steel, huh? Yes, sir. How long does this take to machine? <laughs> uh, several hours. There's no rushing when you're cutting steel. It, it's not aluminum where we can just bury the tool and hog it out at high RPM. We keep it, the RPMs pretty low and we just take take our time. Yeah. And then everything's stress relieved after uh, machining so that way we don't retain any uh, austenites that might cause a fracture to occur during uh, actual dynamic stresses. Okay. Are these push rods tool steel as well? Uh, this tip end right here would be a tool steel tip. It's a forging die material essentially. With the Jessel rock arm, we have to run a tool steel tip where you'll eat the, the push rod end. Yeah. Any tool steel adjusting screw just because of the mating surface compatibility. Gotcha. Uh, so any of our adjusting screws are tool steel just because we feel that it takes such a high load that it needs to be as strong as it can possibly be made. Uh, we don't cut any of our threads. Actually, we're trying to figure out what we're actually on there. We pull our threads and torture our, our adjusters in house. Each, each bearing surface is nitrided to reduce friction. Uh, it's the same thing that's done to an AR bolt. Are you upstairs? Black AR bolts are just a nitriding surface. That's what's done to these tool steel bridges. Okay, you're in the red, like the red room? Okay. Essentially, we try and build the biggest uh, anvil that can take as much abuse as possible. So that way everybody else's parts have the problems, not ours. Gotcha. Because when valve train fails, it's very costly. Oh yeah, yeah. You drop a, a valve and it ruins your cylinder and your piston and even even worse stuff. Yeah, you crack your black too. So. Now what are you showing down here? This is for what? This is a 24 valve Cummins conversion. This is a roller bolt-on system, same as like the Duramax tool steel body, nitrided tool steel trunnion, bushed body, so that way it actually has a wearable bearing surface that can be interchanged if it's gold. Um, same pin and roller material that's used in a blown alcohol or top fuel application. Uh, the bridges we we removed the or we added extra mass to the center and made it more like an I beam so that way as the, it gets loaded it doesn't flex out like the leaf spring style OEM bridge and thrust the valve tips out which wears the guides so essentially this is lighter than stock but several times stronger we also put a, a light ball mill in the top with an oil hole so that way as the rocker arm bleeds oil over the front it'll cool the valve tips. Wow. What kind of degree do you have? Uh, my brother is a mechanical engineering major. My grandfather worked for Rockwell International and uh, designed the electrical harnesses on the lunar modules. Oh, wow. And my grandfather worked for Nissan GTP doing all the valve train designing for the GTP cars and also ran cigars and cans. Okay. And essentially for the last 25 years, my family's been doing it as on our own and been designing stuff for everybody from John Force to uh, Richard Childress. And okay. Not every high RPM valve train market there is. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of math and dynamics and other stuff, computational stuff I don't even know about, but yeah, to effectively build this stuff, yeah. We even go down to the frequencies of the parts and the actual resonant frequencies to make sure that the frequencies don't match up, so we have uh, essentially 
My grandfather worked the shaker tables, which were frequency monitors, monitoring tables for the lunar. Perfect. And then he should tell you, say hi, just sorry you couldn't see you. Oh, right on. Tell Wade I say thank you for, stop, for sending you guys by. Yeah, for sure. Um, essentially, a shaker table was where we would monitor frequencies of each component that would go into the space shuttle. Because the space shuttle was suspended mass and those frequencies would rattle the, the, the space shuttle apart and cause tremendous damage to it. So essentially, every frequency has to be mapped and made sure that nothing overlaps. So that way, the two parts don't, one of the two parts don't break. Essentially, in the valve train, the glass that's breaking, like when you see the singer, is essentially the valve spring surging. Yeah. And the valve spring is surging, it's letting that harmonic frequency energy out of the valve train. So if we can separate the, fr the frequencies further apart, this valve surge isn't as aggressive and we don't damage the parts as bad. Okay. So these are, we're transferring engineering knowledge that's been used for many years and applying it to just different industries that it's never been used in. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, well, good talking to you, man. Learned a lot of new stuff. So. Very nice meeting you guys. Nice products, too. Yeah. Thank you. It'll be based off of something like that. Yeah. Thank you.